It's a nice, beautiful day on the water in the Northwest. Where can you dock and dine in Puget Sound? Stick around, we're highlighting that next. Hi there, I'm Carrie Ray Davis with Carrie Sells the City. I'm a Washington State real estate broker with Keller Williams, and the goal here on my channel is to give you different tips and highlights about lifestyle here in the Northwest, different neighborhoods, as well as topics of real estate. Please be sure to check back every Wednesday so you don't miss out on a new topic. We have stellar summers here in the Northwest in Puget Sound. If you're able to get out on a boat or a paddleboard and enjoy the sound of the lakes, knowing where you can dine and dock are super handy when you're out in the water. Let's start our tour with Seattle and the lakes, Lake Union and Lake Washington. On the south end of Lake Union, you have Chandler's Cove. At Chandler's Cove, you've got Daniel's Broiler, as well as the White Swan Public House, two delicious and fun spots. When you head to the north end of Lake Union, you've got a dock at Westward, which is a delicious restaurant right on the water looking down at the city, as well as Ivor Salmon House. Both places you can get out and go in and dine at the restaurant. Moving around to the east side of Seattle in Lake Washington, you have Leshy. Leshy has two restaurants, another Daniel's, which is very delicious, as well as the Blue Water Bistro Leshy. Both great spots. Good food, good drinks, easy access with the dock right there to access your boat. Heading west towards the salty water of Puget Sound, you have one stop before you hit the Ballard Locks, which is Fisherman's Terminal. And Fisherman's Terminal has Chinooks and Little Chinooks. There's also a few other stores and some seafood merchants there as well. Once you're through the locks, you've got to the right Ray's Boat House, which is right on the edge of Ballard and Shoal Shoal Bay. Moving south around the edge of Magnolia, you have the Elliott Bay Marina, where you will find Palisades, as well as Maggie's Bluffs Cafe. Both restaurants have amazing views of downtown Seattle and Mount Rainier. Moving on south, right into the heart of downtown Seattle on the waterfront, you have Anthony's Pier 66. Moving down to the South Sound and Tacoma and Commencement Bay, you have another Anthony's home port, Point Defiance, right next to the Vashon Ferry. Heading further south, around Point Defiance and underneath the Narrows Bridge, you're going to find the Narrows Marina, where there you have Boathouse 19, as well as Narrows Brewing. Both spots are right there along the dock, easy access to your boat. And then heading up into Gig Harbor across from Tacoma, you've got Anthony's, which is at the north end of the harbor, plenty of dock space, and then last but not least, Tides Tavern. Tides is probably the most well-equipped to handle many boaters at once. They've got several slips that you can park your boat at. You can even paddleboard up. And they actually have service right there at the dock to your vessel. Super fun when you're on the water and you need to catch a bite. Tides Tavern is 21 and over in the restaurant and in the bar, but when you're on the dock, you can't have kids in the boat with you. So if you like to get out on the water in Puget Sound and you need a bite to eat, here are a few places that you can go ahead and enjoy. I've gone ahead and put a quick list together for you below for the South Sound and the Seattle area. Where's your favorite place to eat when you're out and boating? Please comment below and let me know. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Please hit that subscribe button and check back every Wednesday where you'll get a new topic next week. Mm -hmm.